Today we're going to be looking at a MIDI plugin for creating semi-random sequences. So this is the Stochasticizer. Stochastic. Stochasticizer MIDI sequencer. It creates semi-random sequences based on the notes that you uh, input. So we have this big grid with notes going up and down and 16 steps from left to right. We can choose a scale, we can input the notes we want, we can choose a sort of a ranking for the probability from high, medium, and low. We can change the velocity, we can change the number of steps, the playback speed, all kinds of things. Really great free plugin for Reaper. And uh, I'm really glad I found this one because I've already made a song using it. So let's just start off with going through these settings. Available notes, standard scale or custom scale. So with custom scale, you can choose which notes you want. And it's just a matter of dragging to change the notes inside of the grid. So let's go back to standard scale. And then octave start will uh, just scale everything up and down without having to change the pattern. Really helpful. So this is something that's useful to automate. If you wanna uh, quickly add some variation to the pattern, you can um, automate this. You know, Scale the whole thing up or down pretty easily. Note start, what's the root note of your chord? What's the key of the song? So for example, we can change this to D sharp and then all the notes in our sequencer change to fit that key. We go to a major scale, harmonic minor, natural minor, Dorian, all the various common scales. Let's do D sharp major. If we just do D, I'll just, I'm just clicking in here. Now, it's always going to play that because there are no other notes to choose from. So if we did D sharp, we did G sharp, and uh, let's do C. And I just do the same pattern for all of these. So for each of these steps, it's choosing one of those three notes. Depending on the sound you have, that may not be the way you want to approach this, but this could be useful for different hi-hat samples that you want to add in some kind of random variation. Uh, so this can trigger any sound. Um, this is just generating MIDI on playback. So you could use this to generate hi-hat patterns. You can use this for melodies, um, all kinds of things. So, uh, you know, that's just one example. We can use this button here, clear all to reset the sequencer. So let's just do, I don't know, D sharp, G sharp, C. Let's do those, uh, oops, let's do those twice. Do those, and then go down to, let's do this, and then down to A sharp. We can change the number of steps to eight. To change the playback speed. So now it's playing slower. Playing at 60 beats per minute while our project's at 120. We can double it. Now let's go back to the synth and change this release time. You know, depending on the playback speed and the type of sound you're using, all these options are really useful. Then we have patterns, so we can save eight different patterns. So uh, we can trigger that pattern with that note C5 if we wanted to. So the MIDI would be coming in to this track and then um, listening to these notes, C5, D5, up to C6. Uh, so we can save different patterns here. And then with the incoming MIDI, do we want to change the pattern or do we want to pass through all the MIDI notes? So now let's go back and look at the randomization mode and try out the different mode called polyphonic. So with this, you're going to put in a chord and it's going to 
uh, randomly choose any of the notes in that chord. So I don't know. Let's just do let's do C major. Put in a chord that everyone knows. So C E G. Because I'm on draw mode, click. Uh, each time I click, I can change the probability. So let's say we always want this to play the C, like that. And then these other notes can be random. And let's also add in the octave, so we don't know whether it's going to play the octave or not. I'll just set this to four beats. So the C is always playing, but the uh, other notes are random. So it may play a chord, it might not, it might just play the C. We can uh, right click to delete a note, by the way. You can also change the draw mode to drag and just click and drag up and down. If you want to use this as a kind of a, a normal sequencer, you can um, do it this way with all the probabilities set the same. Um, they're always, uh, well, especially when they're set to always at 100%, this can be used as a normal MIDI sequencer. And then there's also velocity editing where we can uh, click and drag to change the velocity. And in draw mode, click, it jumps in steps. 5, 35, 70, 95, and 127. So each note can have a different velocity and a different probability, and we just toggle the um, velocity editing on or off. I'm going to change the synth to a bass sound and see if I can find something that I like here. We can change the octave. So let's say instead of this G, we want this to sometimes play the C, uh, set in another note there. That's going to randomly choose. Maybe we can set this to just click them again and then change them to medium probability. You can also do things like set this to seven steps and then have in a normal, like, um, steady kick drum or something. So I've got a seven beat pattern playing over a quarter note kick drum. No, oh, I didn't put on repeat. Let's try this on a six step pattern. Or maybe we have this as a, a nine-step pattern, who knows? So it'd have to loop around many times before it syncs up again. Um, but because of that random probability, it's always going to be constantly changing. And the more notes you put in here, the more velocity edits and all these kinds of things, you make this really interesting. All right, so how do you get this plugin? Let's go over to the web browser and here it is in um, the Reaper Forum. This is where he announced it back in uh, September of 2016. Um, I got it right away, played around with it for a little bit, and then forgot about it until yesterday. I was going through my uh, JSFX folder and found that one again, started playing around with it, made a song with it last night, and then I realized that I was really behind on updates on this plugin, and so, uh, the original version only had the scale, the octave start, the note start, uh, the scale um, type, and the randomization mode. It didn't have the number of steps. It didn't have the playback speed, and it didn't have the pattern presets. So that was really cool uh, that he added that. Um, so in here, there's a link to the stash, which brings you to this page, and you can download it here. When you download it, you want it to go to, uh, you want to save it, and choose the 
Reaper folder, the effects folder inside there, and then I would put it in the MIDI folder. And I would also add in the .jsfx extension to this. One other great thing about this is that he's really done a lot to explain everything inside of the code. So if we just click on the edit button inside of the plugin, we'll be greeted by a ton of notes about this. So you can see the change log, his description of everything in here as well. He gives you hints on how to um, modify this if you want to. So lots of notes in the code here. One thing that, that's quick and easy for most people to figure out would be colors. So let's search for color. And here we go. So there's these different um, note colors, things like that. So note color is here, and that's these notes on the side. So let's just edit that. Um, in fact, we'll do that to slashes to comment this out. I'm going to duplicate, and I'm not going to comment that one out. Then I'll put in a new color here. So let's go over to a color picker website. So let's just take this one here, copy that, go back to Reaper, paste in this code, and press Command S or Control S on PC, and that will update the colors there. So all these colors inside of the window can be changed very easily. Um, I would suggest commenting out or making a duplicate of this plugin so that you don't lose the original colors, you don't break anything. If you just comment out the line duplicate it, and then change the number, you'll always be able to go back to the originals pretty easily. So next I want to show you a project that I started last night using this plugin. It was the original song idea. I found the plugin inspiring. I didn't really do any random stuff with it, but I wanted to at least use this project to show you some of the things you can do with it. So I started out with having that plugin in the effects chain as normal, just right below the virtual instrument. So I'm going to solo this. Uh, I guess I'll take off the effects as well. Um, here's a section that's pretty normal. OK, so there it's playing a 16-step pattern, and then at the end, automated, changing the number of steps down to three. for the last bar. I thought that was a cool effect. How I actually recorded this to the track, um, because this is all generated in the effects chain, you need some way of actually recording it. Um, what I did was right click in the uh, on the recording button, set the track to record output MIDI, and then I just pressed record, uh, and then got my uh, two different loops that I needed for the song. So. The final sound that I ended up with was this. With lots of decapitator and re-EQ and different sections of the song, I'm automating things. So here's another section of the song. So that's just an example of how a little sequencer thing like this can kind of inspire a full song. So if you enjoyed that, uh, check out the plugin. You can download it for yourself for free on the Reaper forum and stash. Links in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the Reaper blog through Patreon. Visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.